So in my last video about adding text in the video, I got a comment asking how to put the text behind a person. I haven't made a video on it yet because the process that you used to have to do was a lot harder than what you have to do now. Now, of course, it's not as easy as I'm making it sound, but it is a lot easier than having to manually mask out the person and then put the text behind them. I mean, if y'all do want me to teach that method as well, go ahead and comment down below and I'll, you know, I guess I'll make a video on how to mask out a person rather than just using the method that we're going to be using. For this example, I'm actually going to be using a clip my friend Luke shot of our mascot at work. I actually chose this clip because it's a good separation between the mascot and the background. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and play out the clip and as you can tell the subject does go out of frame a little bit And then it kind of blurs out in the background But with this magic mask method that we're gonna be doing that's not gonna really matter at all Now, of course, I'm not gonna tweak the mask to make it a pristine perfect, you know Perfection, but I am gonna be showing you all the basics of it and how do you can you know Tweak the mask if you really want it to or not So the first thing you want to do is actually drag your clip into layer one This is because you're actually gonna be putting your text layer on top of that Go ahead and just resize that down to size next You're gonna actually duplicate the video clip and put it on layer three instead of two. Now when you play it out, the text is obviously gone. I'm actually gonna disable it and resize the text to my liking. I'm gonna put it about right there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and title this Shasta because that's the name of the mascot. And of course, I'm gonna have to scale it up a little bit more, probably about right there. And if you really wanted to, you could change a different font, you know, but let, let's, mm, let's spice it up a little bit, make it, let's make it that. All right, now I decided the text I want, I'm gonna go ahead and re-enable the video clip. Now, of course, the text disappeared, but you wanna go ahead and make sure you select the video clip on video layer three and go down to the fusion page at the bottom. Once you go here, you're gonna see a media in one and a media out one. Go ahead and click media in one and click shift spacebar. This pops up your select tool chart and you're gonna actually type in magic mask go ahead and select that and click add you want to make sure it connects from media in one to magic mask and then the magic mask actually connects to media out one i like to actually drag out the mask a little bit just to you know separate it from me personally but go ahead and select magic mask one and click two this is going to make sure it plays in this media player and if you go back and press media in one go ahead and press one so you can see the before and after so this is actually going to show the full clip itself and then this is going to show the masked out version go ahead and select magic mask again and then go down to better for your mode this will make sure that the mask is done better rather than more efficiently now, when I go ahead and hover over Shasta, you're going to see this little eyedropper tool with the plus sign. That means it's actually going to add the mask. Go ahead and go in the middle of the clip, probably about right there should be good because I get both of his hands and everything. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw him out a little bit. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want to make sure I get enough range around the subject just so I know I get a good mask. And then when I'm done, I'm just going to let go. Now, obviously, the mask isn't perfect. You want to go ahead and go down to subtract right here. You could subtract the person right there. And then you see these little lights right there. They're gone too. And get rid of these as well. Now, this isn't all you got to do. So you need to track the clip forward and backwards so it can track the mask forward and backwards. It's going to take some time. It's going to take a little bit. It's not quick, especially because I'm screen recording. I'm going to come back to y'all whenever it's done. It's actually funny because it did it a lot better than my test run before I actually filmed this video. But uh, when I go ahead and play it out, you can tell that Shasta is masked out almost perfect. You do see some light leakage, but like I said, I'm not gonna perfect this mask But if you do want to whatever frame it is, let's say this one for example I can, again click subtract and I can subtract these lights and if I want to I can go down to add and I could add a little bit of his arm since it's missing right there. And that's all you gotta do if you wanna add or subtract. So next you wanna go ahead and go back to the timeline and you can tell that the text is behind the subject when I play it out. And when I go back, oh, looks like some of the text is missing. So I guess what had happened is if I go back to the fusion page and you go back to that one I had fixed and I need to actually go back and play it backwards. That way it could remask it out and to, you know, to its liking. All right, so it's done. And uh, let's go ahead and go back to the timeline. And now when I play it out, it's gonna lag. This is actually because Fusion can be kind of heavy on your computer. I do have an M1 Pro MacBook that's pretty much maxed out minus the storage, but obviously I don't have the M1 Max. So it's not gonna be the fastest on whenever it comes to like graphics and stuff like this. But you know, if I just drag it through, you can tell that Shasta is in front of the text. And it's, it, you know, it's a pretty cool effect, especially when they do it in movies, when you see a character walking and they're like walking in front of the text, you're like, what the fuck? How is that even possible? Like, how do you, what? I don't know. I just always love this effect. I just don't ever use it because I have no reason to use it, really. I mean, if you, you might, <laughs> you definitely might need it because you were obviously watching this video. Like I said, this method only took maybe like two minutes, three minutes to do. The longest part of this method actually might just be the tracking back and forth of the mask. It only took me probably about 15, 20 seconds to, you know, forward and backwards it, but it, it you know, it could be a lot faster on your computer because your computer is probably way better than mine. <laughs> but but uh, if not, if it's taking a while, don't worry. That's just because your computer's trying to process a graphic effect rather than just videos, you know? It's like adding noise reduction to your videos. And if you want me to show you how I add noise reduction to a video, especially like this one, I can go ahead and make a video on that too. Just go ahead and comment down below and I'll make a video on that. If you actually want to watch the video where I put the video inside of text, you could go ahead and watch that and you might be able to achieve an effect. If you don't want me to teach it, I can. 
how to put the video into the text itself and then get rid of the black all around. But yeah, like I always say, comment down below on any software or video questions you have. I can make videos on them. That's what I'm literally here to do. Especially on my social medias, I get some replies. You know, it helps me out whenever I want to know what y'all want to learn rather than me just coming up with ideas and that nobody's going to really, really learn. So yeah, go ahead and comment on my Instagram, my YouTube shorts, my TikToks, all that. The, you know, my, my ads are going to be at the end of the video. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And if I didn't, <laughs> I'll just go fucking.